was a sight to behold. Many in awe of this enormous and beautiful sea creature on Lido Beach on Long Island. It's sad, um, but absolutely we could not miss the opportunity to see uh, a whale, a beached whale. Nature's spectacular. <laughs> you know, that's Very so you so. grab it when you can see it. But the images of these majestic beings are also heartbreaking and distressing and too common. In late January, the 35-foot-long male humpback whale was the latest mammal stranded on a New York or New Jersey beach. It was the 10th to wash up in our area in just a two-month period. But the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, says while there is a slight uptick in recent months, strandings have been on the rise in the last seven years. We actually declared an unusual mortality event or UME for humpback whales back in 2016 uh, because of an elevated number of whale strandings that were occurring starting that year. Since 2016, NOAA has been tracking elevated humpback whale mortalities, 191 in total along the Atlantic coast from Maine to Florida. There have been 36 in New York and 28 in New Jersey. Just weeks after the Lido Beach incident, a dead minke whale washed up on Rockaway Beach in Queens and a humpback in Manasquan, New Jersey. So what's causing this? There could be several factors. Necropsies performed on these recent cases show the mammals were likely struck by vessels out at sea. So we recommend that, that boats, if, if whales are in the area, that boats go less than 10 knots. That helps to reduce the, the risk of a vessel strike. New York and New Jersey ports have also seen larger cargo ships and far more traffic in recent years. Mandatory slower speeds are already in place to protect the North Atlantic right whales and endangered species during their high season. Advocates want that regulation expanded to protect all mammals year round. Another explanation may be the new areas they're looking for food. Their prey is moving closer and closer to shore. They follow, leading them towards more possible human interaction into space shared by vessels and by people. Whales that are observed in inshore waters are, are pretty much exclusively juveniles. And so it's possible that their foraging behavior, that surface foraging behavior, might, might put them at, at higher risk of vessel strike. Large whales' preferred prey is Manhattan, and experts say the whale food swims in pathways with more ship traffic. Marine biologists add other human interaction, like fishing gear and trash, can also disrupt the habitat of large mammals. Dr. Leslie Thorne is a professor at Stony Brook School of Marine and Atmospheric Sciences. Her team shot this drone video as part of their research into the foraging behavior and body condition of humpbacks in the New York Bight. I wouldn't say that the increase in sea surface temperature in the northeast U.S. is necessarily going to cause an increase in strandings, rather that we're going to see different species stranding in different regions. These animals strand from Montauk all the way through Staten Island and also up the Hudson River. Maxine Montello is a program director at the New York Marine Rescue Center in Riverhead. This is their busy seal pup season, 45 calls in a one-week period for reports of stranded seals. This animal was actually entangled, so a huge issue here in Long Island is that these animals are getting entangled in fishing gear, um, ghost nets, etc. And so this animal had um, fishing line wrapped around her body. And they've also rescued 94 stranded turtles in two months. She says climate change and the lack of seasonality have disrupted the cues marine mammals look for. Seasons are becoming longer, so they're staying here longer. We're really losing those winters. So with no snowfall means animals can stay here much longer. The strandings and mortalities are also sparking concerns about the effect offshore wind development may have on marine life. But NOAA scientists steadfastly say there's no data to support the claims. What all seem to agree on, the beachings are happening too often. While we are you know, trying to do our best to reduce these stranding events, they are likely going to continue to occur.